Saturday, September 18, 2010, 11 o'clock p.m. through Sunday, September 19, 2010, 4.40 a.m. or plugging in 186,000 miles per second. White noise on a silk cover television set screen. A guitar god playing a single incendiary guitar lick over and over, over and over, over and over. It has begun. I am fetal and prone and smiling now. Now, I am stretched out, taut, extremities aching. Poor life is holding mine, but for one one millionth of a second and then, and then out. And then back, and then out, and then back, and then out. My toes are splayed in weight for the next one millionth of a second, where I will know. This is a completely flaccid orgasm. This memory, this, the almost rupturing leg muscles, the medial collateral, the posterior cruciate, anterior cruciate ligaments, my quivering Achilles, waiting, anticipating, yearning, feeling, and feeling, and memory, and feeling. It's a little bit like, it's a little bit like, it's a little bit like, you know, it's everything like. A time I thought would be all the time, and now it's the time that no longer is. Except for I call up from the grave, with seance is held in dark basements, with blue weed and coating. Shiny, shiny, boots of leather. Shiny, shiny, boots of leather. I am tired. I am weary. I can sleep for a thousand years. A thousand dreams that would awake me. My body shakes the thought line slack. It's a Nico who is really you and you will project and ask me to please, please put down my hands because you see me. My heart's arms are vigorously composed in the rhythm and melody of your arms wrapped tightly around my own arms, wrapped tightly around your own arms, wrapped tightly, wrapped tightly, wrapped tightly. I am completely lucid when I say I am absolutely out of my door. I feel such polarity. My being's fabric stretches the past, so I bounce up and down upon it like a class of children at recess. I am completely lucid when I say I am absolutely out of my gourd. Each cigarette is blast to keep feet and grounded, commune. I don't want to ever stop remembering how it was to hold you for even a millionth of a second. And my big toes reach over and press down on his neighbor's doorbell as you return and are gone. Return and are gone. Return and are gone. I am laying on the couch listening to Holly and Miranda and Yoko, taut as a bedsheet, stretching the equator to Antarctica, aching from round upon round of millionth of a second hugs. This millionth of a second is the entire blanket I am wrapped in, looped and on repeat, my index finger on repeat, hitting the button. It has become inextricable with my fabric of being, and now it's gone again. I have to get up and walk around.